quick video going over the Wuschdorf Gourmet and sort of giving you a background on the knife, talking about the knife a bit, and then giving you my personal opinion on it. The Gourmet is essentially an entry-level knife they've created to go head-to-head -head against knives like Victorinox and other entry-level budget-conscious knives. They do that by cutting costs in a few places and then passing that on essentially to consumers. The first and most important thing is that this knife is stamped. It is not forged, which means what they actually do is they take a sheet of stainless steel and they cut the knife out of it and then they finish it up and they grind it down and they sharpen it. So the actual metal they use for this is a 58 hardness, which is in between in the knife world. Uh, Victorinox uses a 55 hardness metal and Shun and other high-end knife manufacturers use metals that are about 60, 61, 62, 63 hardness. So what that means is that this knife is going to be much more resilient and it's going to hold an edge much, much better than Victorinox knife will, but at the same time, it's going to wear down and dull much faster than a Shun or other similar high-end knife will. So that's just something to consider. It's going to need more honing and more sharpening than a Shun will, but much less than an entry-level knife like a Victorinox. Aside from that, the actual cutting angle is 18 and a half inches, which is actually surprisingly a very, very meaty cutting angle. Shuns use 16 degrees, Global and Victorinox use 15 degrees, and the actual classic line by Wushdorf uses about 14 degree cutting angle. So this knife is still very sharp, but for example, it's not sharp enough to actually cut the hairs off of your hand. So it's not razor sharp, but it's definitely sharp enough to cut a chicken up or to cut apart vegetables, things like that. Uh, the end result of this knife is that it is essentially, with its full tang and everything, it's a pretty high-end knife. <clears throat> it definitely has a lifetime warranty. It's made in Germany, so they haven't really cut anything out there. But at the end of the day, it is definitely a budget-friendly, budget-conscious knife. In my opinion, considering the fact that the Gourmet costs as much as a Sora, I would almost always, unless you really, really like German-style knives, I would 110% suggest getting the Sora line. The knives are comparably priced, but with the Shun Sora, you're getting a knife that is forged, that is handmade, that uses VG10 steel, so it's a 61 hardness, that has an edge that is 16 degrees, not 18 and a half degrees, so it's much, much sharper. It has a full tang, essentially, just like this knife but it also comes with lifetime free sharpening, which I think is a deal breaker, because as you guys know, if you're taking your knives to a sharpener who's reputable, it's gonna cost you roughly $5 per inch, which means a knife like this is gonna cost you just this one knife, $40 to sharpen. And I think that adds up really, really quickly. So in my mind, unless there's a reason that you really, really want the Gourmet line, I would 100% suggest that you purchase the Sora instead. I'll put a link down to both below so you can check it out and see what's going on. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.